It's a new week in the Crew Motorfest, and that means a new summit. This one is BMW Motorfest Selection, and this is my summit guide. Let's go! Real quick before we get into it, if you're looking for any of my Motorfest tunes, you can go to MilitiaGamingCo.com, click on Motorfest Pro Settings from the top, and that will take you to the Builds app where it shows all of my tunes and some of the tunes from the community. All right. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the cars first. In the Summit Bundle, you're going to get the BMW M2 Beehive Edition, the BMW i8 Roadster Stellar Edition, and the BMW M8 Competition Coupe, which, by the way, I don't think you're going to need to use in this Summit. Anyways, the additional vehicles you're going to use are the BMW M8 Performance Edition, BMW M3 I don't even want to try to announce this name. I can't read it at all. The Earl edition and then the cento dieci and a slalom car of your choice just make sure you have the score breaker part set with skilled and pure doesn't really matter which class as long as you have score breaker you'll get a good score i do recommend agp though all right the keys to this summit are going to be your nos management your shortcuts and you know if you have a slipstream partner that will help on a lot of these races as well all right here are the pro settings and then we'll get into the events All right, the first event is called the Ultimate Driving Machine, and for this one, it's the Earl Edition new BMW M3. So this one is kind of straightforward. This is Scotto versus Scotto, and there's a couple of cuts that you're gonna need to look at. And the first one here is at about 7%, cut across the left, and barely hit the checkpoint on the left. Then cut again, reset at this checkpoint, and then be pretty patient with your NOS here. You're gonna go basically to full speed but don't burn all of it because you're going to want to use it after this next hill the turns going up this hill right here are gutter turns so try to hit them if you can and the faster you go on those the better obviously i think i fell out of this one yeah i turned in a little bit too hard and then fell out try to stick in there if you can another gutter turn right here going onto the bridge and then for this one actually you can go full throttle i kind of hesitated because i was gonna take the gutter if you notice that but if you go full throttle through here you don't you won't lose any speed avoid this tree though because the tree will drop your speed then just go straight across like this and rejoin with the road now i kept decent speed which is why i kept it in the run but if i would have full throttled it instead of hesitating on the gutter for a minute i think that would have been better all right, the next cut is here at 64%. Cut across the grass a little. To the left of that checkpoint, rejoin with the road. And that's basically it for this race. Good luck. Let's go to the next one. All right, the next event is called Sheer Driving Pleasure. Now, this is the event where you would have to use the BMW M8 Competition Coupe, but you can actually use the Performance Edition. So it's a special edition, but the same car, and so... They let you use this on this summit event so you won't actually have to use that m8 competition coupe you can use this one all right this very beginning is obviously really straightforward but i want to note something for you guys on these first couple of turns if you stay wide here on this first left and then cut back in towards the flag you're going to have a better angle on this turn and again on that turn obviously watch that wall when you get to here you want to blast your nos to get the top speed and then again, get close to that wall on the inside. The first cut here at about 16% across the grass. I lost a little bit of speed there with the drift. You can cut it a little bit tighter if you want to. Now approaching this turn at 25%, this turn is actually, you're, you're capable, excuse me, of taking this turn at full speed. You just have to be wide enough to the left and then you have to cut close enough to the brick wall in order to not hit this barrier wall. Now, I don't remember if I did it perfectly, but I definitely kept enough speed to where I used NOS on the exit, and that actually gives me, you know, enough to get back to basically top speed. So cut it in, 
didn't hit the wall and then just with a little bit of nos up to 232 miles an hour your nos management and keeping your speed above 220 in this race is going to be huge because a lot of these turns are really like wide open high speed turns so even if they don't look like it like this left coming up this one doesn't look like a high a high speed of uh, you know full throttle turn but it actually is try to cut it on the curb just a little bit and you'll you'll end up staying on the road same thing with this left hander it's basically no brakes at all now on this one i ended up drifting because i turned it super hard but basically you can either drift this corner or just slow down and take it normally but basically you have a, a sort of hard right followed by another hard right so you need to control your speed as much as possible and you don't want to hit these trees those will bring you to a dead stop and then you want to get as close to that building on the left side as possible after exiting you can cut this corner on the right another cut here on the right stay on the road there and then you can cut this corner after the tree this is very similar to the grand race path here now this turn on the right is full speed notice i braked a little bit because i'm just conditioned with the grand racing to make a very hard right uh after this turn but this one is wide open so just full full speed Now you want to get wide here and cut it back left. You can cut that corner a little bit. Again, use NOS to get back up to speed. This corner you can cut across the grass and then to the left across this grass. Try to control your speed a little bit. If you go full throttle, you're going to hit that wall. You'll lose a lot of speed if you hit the wall. Again, NOS management to get up into the 230 miles per hour on this section. This is really important to maintain your speed. You can lose a lot of time here if you're not, you know, up around 230 miles an hour. There's really only a couple of tricky turns left. There's this left-hander right here, in which case you want to try to hit that gutter and I missed it, which means I took it a lot slower. And then again here. Now this one, I really messed up understeered the corner went way too fast didn't hit the gutter ended up in the wall try not to do that hit that gutter on the final right trust me all right the next race is called the m8 coupe again you'll be using this performance edition m8 and this one is maybe the worst race or the most frustrating race in the entire summit so don't get too discouraged here on this first turn i recommend two things so prepare for it by getting you know as far right as you can go don't go on the sidewalk it'll sort of mess up your line a little bit but basically you want to get yourself into eighth gear because you're going to go over a bunch of curbs here go left across the curbs once you get across that curb you can downshift back into seventh for acceleration go as close to this building on the right here as possible because it'll set you up perfectly for the next um you know the next road so there you go then when you get here, I fell off this path. You want to try to stay to the right. Don't fall off of it. I lost a lot of speed doing that. Air NOS is important on both of those jumps. Notice I'm already at 205. Try to cut it back and don't hit the wall on the right. This corner, you can cut it super close to this building and just go straight through the checkpoint and across the grass here. It's super easy, not a hard cut. On this left-hander, you're gonna cut the corner a little bit. Allows you to keep your speed through there. Cut the corner here as well. And then we're gonna be going straight for a little bit. I'll fast forward. All right, here at 34%, you'll notice you'll have a block wall on the right. This is just like the Grand Races. You're gonna to wanna to take uh, the path that's a little bit to the left of the block wall and make sure you turn right as much as possible to avoid this tree right here. So turn right after the block wall, avoid the tree, and back to the road. Slow down on this turn and take the gutter. And then you can take the gutter again there if you want, but you probably don't need to. Use your NOS here. 
in the air. Make sure you're getting up to top speed, which is anything over 230. Now in this turn, I actually slowed down a little bit. You can probably drift this corner so you don't do any wall taps. But I didn't lose that much speed doing the wall taps, so I just left it in. And on this turn, I actually did a reset. So you got to hug this wall. Watch out for this little awning here. There's a pole right here that you can't hit. But after that, just crank it hard to the left and then reset when you get to the flag. Now on this part, you want to sh upshift and use your air NOS. Notice I got all the way to top speed by upshifting to seventh and just nosing in the air. On this jump, when you land, I downshift twice, little brake tap, and then it's easy to control this left-hander there. And the last turn is going to be a right-hander. It is pretty tough, but it, it starts, your angle starts on this left hand right outside this building. Get as close to this building as possible and end on the left of the road. So you can set yourself up for the right-hander. Notice how far over to the left I went on that turn. And then you can cut this road a little bit. I, I slid out a little, but it was tough. Then air NOS as much as you can over that stair jump. And then try to keep that speed throughout this, you know, little market there and to the finish line. All right. Let's move on. All right, the next event is called Byrish Motorin Work, I believe. Anyways, stands for BMW. That's what BMW stands for. And this is a lapped race. This is a race we've done a lot. So I'll just go through uh, some of the key points in this second lap here. So this first right-hander is a gutter turn, 100%. Gotta hit that gutter, otherwise you're definitely gonna be going into the grass. This one is not going to be a gutter turn in street one and other uh, classes like hypercar it is. This race is all about keeping your speed up. Try to keep it around 180 miles per hour. This right hander is also a gutter turn. Enter early, use fourth gear. You can downshift to third if you feel like you're going too slow. And then fourth and NOS on the way out. Again, this section is all about getting your car to top speed and trying to hold it for as long as possible. This one is in another gutter turn here. It's important to point your car directly at that checkpoint and basically you're going to jump into the gutter way earlier than you think you need to. It's a very deceiving turn and it's super easy to understeer it and miss the gutter completely. So jump in early, you'll be fine. Don't have to jump into the gutter there. That was a mistake by my, on my part, but you do want to gutter that final turn on the right. And that's basically the lap. This is just the straight leading up to the uh, finish line here. Rinse and repeat three times. All right, this next race is called Icon of a New Era. And for this one, we're using the BMW i8, which I really wish we didn't have to use. It understeers like crazy and uh, it caused you to make all kinds of mistakes. So um, anyway, there's a lot of shortcuts in this race, so let's just skip right to those. All right, the first one is right here at about 22%. You aim for that flag, cross the grass, NOS in the air when you land. I hit the wall a little bit, so it wasn't the cleanest version of that. And uh, when you get out of that and you make the left here by the building, you can actually cut this flag really hard to the left. You don't have to go through that checkpoint like at all. If you're by the buildings, you won't get credit, but you know, you've got lots of room on this one. Now on this turn, I chose to drift it. It worked out pretty well. A lot better than if I were to just slow down and try to take the turn normally. So I do recommend that if you can do it, you can use uh, the handbrake and the NOS button at the same time while turning and it'll cause your car to twitch like that. There's another shortcut here on the left. You can basically, you know, watch for this sign here. You don't want to hit this pole like I did, but when you see this sign, that's your cue to, to cut between this pole and this tree on the left. It's a pretty easy, simple cut once you have your visual cues set up. All right, this next checkpoint is at about 61%. 
you're going to cut to the right and drop down into this little creek and then go up the other side. And uh, I think I took it slightly wrong. There's a spot down here where when you're hitting the bank on the opposite side, I should have been a little bit more left. If I was a little bit more left, I would have avoided these rocks and wouldn't have gotten as much air and uh, probably would have kept a lot more speed through here. But uh, even doing it this way, you're going to save some time. So I hit these rocks popped up in the air and I had to use a bunch of NOS to keep my speed, which I really didn't want to do, but it worked out okay. And honestly, that's it for this one, man. Let's move on. All right, the next race is called the Best M Car which this one is most certainly not that. This is maybe the most frustrating car to drive in the Summit. It's just very oversteery. The back end likes to slide out. It's it's very, very annoying. Anyways, I've got a couple of tips before we get into like the shortcuts and things like that. A couple of tips for this car. Number one, it's gonna help you if you're in manual because you'll be able to control your gearbox, which then controls the power going to the rear wheels, which then allows you to, you know, control this sliding issue that it has, this driftiness. So manual is recommended for this. If you're only used to driving automatic and you don't know how to drive manual, then it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to adjust to the car. That's number one. Number two, when you get into a gutter, it doubles the amount of oversteer the car has. So as you enter the gutter, you're okay because you're off the throttle. But the second you get back on the throttle, and you're still turning, the car is gonna wanna spin around. So just be aware of that. When it hits the dirt, it wants to spin, it wants to turn. So just be aware of that. Try not to use your throttle that much in the gutter. And if you are gonna use your throttle in the gutter, be in a gear higher. If, the, if you would normally take the gutter in fourth, make sure you're in fifth instead. And thirdly, when you're off-road in this car, put it in the highest gear possible because it's just gonna make your life a little bit easier. The car wants to spin out completely when you get into the dirt. So just put it into, I think it's sixth uh, for this one. Just put it into sixth right before you get into the dirt and then use your NOS in the air. So anyways, let me show you the cuts. The first one is here at 8%, across the grass and reset when you get to the flag. Make sure you're pointing to the right when you exit that. Then at about 21%, Go across the grass, reset when you get to the flag. Again, make sure you're pointing right when you exit that one as well. All right, at 47%, across the grass again, reset when you get to that flag. That one, I think it sets you up straight when you're done with that reset, so don't worry too much about uh, pointing your car. Gutter turn here, another gutter turn here, and this leads you into the tunnel, which leads you to maybe the hardest part of this race, and that is the shortcut jump over the hill. So after this tunnel, you're gonna go to the left here. Notice I slowed down a lot. It's actually seventh gear. I thought it was sixth gear, but it's actually seventh. I put it in seventh before entering the dirt. It's important. And then I cut to the left of this checkpoint flag. You're aiming for that checkpoint. You get one little tiny peek at this the checkpoint right there that you can see over these bushes. And that's about all you can see leading up to the jump so try to point your car in that direction and jump and use air nos make sure you hit the checkpoint keep turning to the left downshift control speed exiting it so you can hit the gutter when you come out of it and honestly that's basically it for this course everything else is just nailing these gutter turns as much as possible and this car definitely wants to be in the gutter the problem is it oversteers once it's in the gutter so notice i'm struggling to keep my car in the gutter because i'm oversteering like crazy see i entered the gutter fine but then all of a sudden all four wheels were in the dirt because i just couldn't you know make a slight adjustment while in the gutter because the steering is just so sensitive anyways hopefully the tune helps you guys a little bit with that and that's it for this one. Let's talk about the feats. All right, here are my feats. I'm going to let them play out like always so you can see the paths. And then we'll be back with the final scores.
all right here are my final scores thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions you can send me a dm on instagram or discord i read every single message that comes my way thank you guys so much once again i hope this helps i will catch you on the next one trigger out